making your necklace, determine the length that you would like, multiply it by four, and that's the amount of thread you need. For this necklace, we're working with beads that have larger holes, so we're going to start with extra thread so that we can make extra knots beyond what the four times would have yielded. For this beginning example, I'm not working with quite as long amount of thread as we would use. We would uh, cut 110 inches for this necklace. So I've cut a piece of thread and I've anchored my clasp to a work surface that's going to help me have something to pull against as I'm making the knots. And I'm going to put the end of the thread through the clasp and I'll use half hitch knots to secure this to the clasp. And I'll do that twice. And because this clasp is magnetic, sometimes it'll come apart while you're pulling. So just reconnect it. All right. Once that's secure, we're ready to thread on some beads. On each end of the thread, I placed a beading needle. So we've got two needles working. And on the, my left hand thread, I've threaded on a series of beads. And we'll be adding more beads as we go, but it's good to just get about a dozen or so strung up the first part. And to create the first knot, I'll take the right hand needle and pass it through the first bead. And you want to be careful not to pierce the thread, the other thread as you're passing through. Tighten that down toward the clasp in that first series of knots. And now we're going to make two half hitch knots, same as we did in the beginning. And if you, as in this design, are using beads that have larger holes, you'll, you may need to do more knots so that they're uh, actually holding the beads apart along the, the strand. And so this series of knots would be fine for the purple bead. The next bead is larger and I would be concerned that it's going to just go right over the knot. So I'll do one more. And because we allow for more thread, you'll have enough to make it all the way through to, you know, just keep making as many knots as you need to. Pull them tight. Pass the needle through the next bead. Again, try not to pierce the thread. Pull it down. And then continue on making more half hitch knots between each of the beads. Our necklace is nearly complete. We've placed knots in between each of the beads. I've removed the clasp from the work surface, took the pin out, and we're ready to finish. I stopped knotting and saved the last two beads for this final step. Using my right hand thread, I'll pass through the two remaining beads. I'll pass that needle, same needle, through the loop on the clasp. And continuing with that same needle, pass back through the last bead. And then, once that thread is through, it's an awful lot of thread through those beads, Tighten things up and make a couple of half hitch knots, working in the same direction that I have been so that the knots are all lining up properly. Pull that tight 
and I'll repeat so that the knot is about the same size as all the other knots in the design. Taking full advantage of that bendable beading needle. There we go. Now, with the left hand thread, I will place a few half hitch knots between the last bead and the clasp to secure. Form that loop, get it to stay. There we go. So you can see, and then one more. Okay, so now that all of the knots are in place, the clasp is secure, add some hypo cement to those last couple of knots just to make sure they're extra secure, trim the excess thread, and your necklace is complete. We'll take our leftover beads and head on over to the next project.